In today's daily dose of math, we're given a point and we're asked if that point is the solution set for a system of equations. The way to do this quickly is to plug the point into the equations and verify whether that point satisfies both equations. Let's start with plugging 12, 4 into this equation. The y is the 4, the x is the 12, half of 12 is 6, and of course 6 minus 2 is 4. This verifies. But that doesn't mean that this point is the solution set for the system. It's the solution set for this. It is part of the solution set for this linear equation. But in order to be the solution set for the system, it also has to verify in this other equation. So we plug it in. 2 times 12 minus 3 times 4 minus 10 must be equal to 0. We simplify. And we have 24 minus 12, which is 12, minus 10, which is 2. We have the statement 2 equals 0. This does not verify. So this point, while it's working for the first equation, doesn't work for both equations, and therefore it is not the solution set for this system. The answer is no. Let's do it again with this second example. Is the point 5, negative 1 the solution set? We replace y with negative 1. Replace x with 5, and we simplify. We get negative 1 equals negative 1. That verified. Let's try 5, negative 1 with this equation. Careful with your signs. This gives me 5 plus 2. Seven minus seven is equal to zero. I know this is working. I can still continue, move this negative seven to the other side where it becomes positive and get this far, but it verifies. Since the point five negative one verifies with both equations, that means it is the solution set for this system. This is today's daily dose of math. Make sure to like this video.